Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Hybrid, and today I am going to talk about keyboard and mouse versus controller when you are playing For Honor. First off guys, if you are playing on console, obviously you're more than likely going to have to play with a controller. So with that said, if you don't want to listen to this commentary, you don't have to, uh, but if you do want to click that like button, I would appreciate it. Um, other than that guys, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to say is that I started off with the controller and I switched over to keyboard and mouse, so I'm going to, um, anybody who has the option to play with a keyboard and mouse, I'm going to advise that you play with a keyboard and mouse uh, and then I'm gonna go over why I switched and um, I'm gonna go over what why I think the keyboard and mouse is best um, so if you guys think that uh, controller is best and you're more comfortable with the controller feel free to use that um, but uh, there are a few things that you can do with keyboard and mouse that you just can't do fast enough on controller um, with that said guys the gameplay that you're seeing uh, the first half is going to be me playing with a controller and I'll have it titled up at the top of the screen the second half is going to be me playing with a keyboard and mouse all right so let's get right into it so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the defensing or uh, changing your stance in order to uh, defend the attacks properly um, with the keyboard and mouse it can be awkward at times especially when you're first learning keyboard and mouse or whenever you first start using keyboard and mouse and the reason for that is because you're gonna move your you're gonna move your mouse in order to change your stance now of course you can change the bind I wouldn't recommend doing that uh, but you can change your mouse um, or you have to move your mouse to change your stance and when you do that um, you can pull your mouse um, further away from the middle than what it needs to be so what you kind of have to do is you have to make sure that you're resetting your mouse throughout the duel or throughout the fight or throughout whatever you're doing in For Honor um, and it can be a little awkward, but once you get used to it, um, it really isn't a problem. It's pretty easy. Um, and that is the one advantage I will say the controller has, is that it is easier to change your stance because with the joystick, you're resetting you're resetting to the center of the joystick every time, no matter what. With the mouse, you're not necessarily doing that. Um, also, if you are switching to keyboard and mouse or you're just starting out in this game, I'd highly recommend turning your mouse sensitivity down because I also found that oftentimes whenever I was going for an attack or something, I would jerk my mouse and it would go into the wrong way way um, but uh, with that out of the way let's go into why I think keyboard and mouse is much better and the reason for that is because you can press more buttons at once and what I mean by that is you can dodge and guard break you can dodge and attack you can uh, switch your stances up and attack um, you can do all these things all at once where with a controller you only really have if you think about it four inputs because most people don't play claw and most people don't play um, with two fingers on each trigger and even if you do you still only really have three inputs so the or four inputs excuse me and the four inputs that you have are both your index fingers and both your thumbs when you're playing with a keyboard or mouse the inputs you have are you know your three fingers that lay on w wad i would hope you play like that um, and then you also have your thumb and then you can also use your pinky and then when you're playing with the mouse not only do you have your two your middle finger and your index finger if you have buttons on the side of your mouse you also have your thumb so you have a lot more input you have a lot more control over your character and your movements um, and you also have uh, a much greater advantage to react more quickly uh, to attacks and to things that are being thrown out. One of the problems that I had when I was playing with the controller was the guard breaking. I was having a really hard time counter guard breaking. Switch the keyboard and mouse. Don't have that problem at all now. I can do it instantly the second I see it instead of having to take my thumb from the joystick down to circle or square, whatever you have it on, or X or, you know, whatever you have it on, and having to press that, I oftentimes will not be able to get it off quickly enough and then I get guard break and hit with a heavy and we all know how that ends. It ends with your head getting cut off most of the time. <laughs> Another advantage that I feel like keyboard and mouse has is the um, the ability to be accurate and the ability to feel your attacks because um, when I'm using a controller I oftentimes feel like I have to mash buttons. With keyboard and mouse I don't have to do that. I can uh, I can hit something, it will do the action, and then I will wait to do the next action. With a uh, controller, I just feel like I'm button mashing a lot more. With a keyboard and mouse, not so much. That may just be a personal um, reflection, but it's something that I found that um, changed whenever I switched over. Um, it's something that I thought uh, might also uh, influence you guys to switch over to keyboard and mouse or simply to start with the keyboard and mouse or whatever you're doing. Uh, but with all that said, guys, I hope this helps with your decision on whether or not you want to play For Honor with a keyboard and mouse or a controller. I'm going to go ahead and say peace now, guys. My name's Hybrid. Be sure to check out my other videos. See ya.